with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Quite the difference for us since December 1st, we haven't even been able to squeeze out an inch of snow. Taking a look at our conditions outside right now, sunshine, but we have the January chill certainly in place. Those winds adding to the cold feel in Providence. We've got a 29 degree temperature, but adding in the winds, it feels like 17. They're out of the west northwest. So blowing at 16 miles per hour. That humidity is going to be very, very low next few days. It's dry air, but it's also cold air. So these temperatures are below normal. Mid 20s in Smithfield, close to 30 in New Bedford, Newport, Providence, and Westerly. And we won't change much over the next few hours. We'll have a right around 30 degrees. If you're traveling up to Boston this evening, make sure you got a warm coat. It's 28 in Boston and 19 right now in Worcester. Now as our afternoon goes on, as I mentioned, the temperatures right around 30, dropping then by 6 o'clock into the lower 20s. As the winds diminish this evening, we are setting ourselves up for a cold night. So dry air for the wind. That storm system going to stay well to the south. We've got a storm free weekend on the way. I call it a game winner for the Pats game. It's going to be cold, but it's kind of what you'd expect for January in southern New England. Dry for the Pats and I think probably uh, a little helpful for the Pats as they play uh, LA. Just no drought continues, no big storms in the forecast next seven days. No snow out there right now on live Doppler radar. If we look up to the north, you can see quiet conditions in northern New England, but they've had a busy week with snowfall there picking up in many ski resorts around a foot of snow on the high end about a foot and a half. So they've got a deep snowpack and great conditions for doing some skiing this weekend. It will be colder than normal, especially in the morning. Still up into the single digits in parts of northern New England right now, courtesy of this area of high pressure. This is the key to our forecast, keeping that storm track well to the south. Here's the storm right now over the Texas panhandle and it'll take a track almost due east moving off the Carolina coastline by Sunday and you can see where the snow is going to fall a lot of winter storm watches and warnings in place for the Midwest from Chicago to St. Louis and all the way east to uh, the DC area in northern Virginia for hour by hour forecast you can see here at five o'clock this evening clear skies over the east coast to start this is at 11 o'clock tonight waking up tomorrow morning to sunshine here in southern new england finishing the day with a little bit of extra cloud cover coming in and see dc getting some snow saturday evening and into early Sunday morning. High pressure, though, prevents that storm from coming our way. There may be some ocean effect snow showers that clip the Cape uh, due to a northerly wind, that cold air coming in over the ocean. But in terms of storm impacts, little to none here in southern New England. How about these temperatures overnight tonight? As the winds start to die down, it'll set us up for overnight lows in some spots in the single digits. We'll see mostly lower teens by tomorrow morning. Now, the winds will not be as strong tomorrow, so wind chill actually make it feel a little bit slightly more comfortable than what we're going to see today. Both uh, weekend days, though, our high temperatures will be near 30. At Gillette Stadium, I expect us to be in the 20s for the game. 22 for tailgating. The winds will be at about 5 to 10 miles per hour from the north on Sunday. That'll make that 30 degrees feel more like the lower 20s. And look at that seven-day forecast. Very quiet. No big storms.